everyone, welcome back to Andrea's Country Home Cooking. I'm so sorry I haven't been around in a while. There's been a lot going on around here. Um, before quarantine even started, the end of March, my mom fell and broke her femur, and she lived with us for almost a month. So we had constant company, phones were ringing, we just didn't have the time to have the quiet time to do a video like this. So we are back, and we are going to do a video uh, for an easy dinner. Something quick and tasty as you're in quarantine, and then we're going to do tips and tricks for another video, so stick around. But first, I have to introduce to you, and this is the way she asked me to introduce, is Andrea's Country Home Cooking presents Kenzie Mae McElroy today to help out. Here she is. This is my daughter, Kenzie. She's six, and she really wanted to be a part of our video today because she's home from school, and we've been keeping busy. We made some cookies today, and now we're going to make some food. So we're going to make chicken pot pie muffins and she is going to help me. You make these like these. <laughs> All right, stand up, look tall, pretty, with the camera. Are we ready? Okay, so first for your muffins, you're going to start with some chicken breast. Can I do it? Yes, you may help. You got to stand up straight. Okay. She's new to this, so stick with us, guys. Okay, so first you're going to start with two to three chicken breasts, depending on the sizes. About three to four cups. You're going to cook it. Have it all seasoned, chop it up into bite-sized cubes, and have it all ready and cooled. So we're going to take our chicken, and we are going to add some cream of chicken soup. Now there's two 10-ounce cans of cream of chicken soup in here. Okay, so take this, please. Yes. Okay. Dump it in there. Okay, good girl. Okay, dump it. All right. Get the spatula, get all the rest out of here. All right, what do you think we're gonna put in next, Ken's? What ingredient? Okay, what is that? Tell people what that is. Cheese. Cheese, what kind of cheese do we use in this family? Do you remember? Yeah. We use Cabot, but you use what you have right now, it's fine. All right. <laughs> now, you wanna dump in the cheese next? Yeah. Now this is about a cup to a cup and a half of extra sharp cheese, all shredded, ready to go. Alright, next we're going to add our seasonings. We have a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic salt. So dump that in there. Good girl. Okay. She wanted these bowls for her play kitchen. These are the Pioneer Woman. They're really cute little bowls. Next is a teaspoon of, what is that? It's pepper. Pepper. Teaspoon of pepper. Alright, now we're going to get this mixed really, hey, really good. Pioneer Woman uh, book. Um, she's on a farm and her dog's name is Pepper on there, isn't it? We love that book. Can I it? Sure. You gotta get deep down in there. Okay. Just don't flop it out. So we've been trying to keep busy with making um, extra Play-Doh, like homemade Play-Doh, which is on my website you can find. We've been making cook uh, Cake cookies, which is also on my website. We've been doing, we made m and cookies today. We've been trying to keep busy and they've been helping me cook and bake while they've been home at school because cooking and baking is learning because you're measuring and they're learning patience and not long patience because she's not stirring already. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Gotta get really down in there. All right. Um, you can try to pop one open, go ahead. So next we're gonna do the biscuits. We're gonna put the biscuits in <laughs> <laughs> in a muffin pan. All right, you gotta open it up first. You're doing it how mom does it. So we gotta open it up. We gotta show them it's a can of buttermilk biscuits. They didn't have Pillsbury, so we had to buy the Wegmans because everything's picked over. Um, so just buy the Pillsbury buttered biscuits or any kind of biscuits at this point will work, whatever you can find. I hope she's entertaining to you guys. I mean, I like having my little sous chef over here. All right, I think our chicken's mixed good. All right, give it a really good whack. Real good. Boom. Look at that. Okay. All right, our, chicks, our chicken mixture is pretty well mixed. It looks really good and smells amazing. We're going to set this over here to the side while we get our muffin to get set ready. Okay, awesome. All right. Yep, flop it on here. Flop them all out. Well, I don't think we're going to have to cut them. I got a knife, but we don't need to. Okay, let's get the other one open now. Um, 
time to open it. All right. I'm gonna throw this trash out. You keep everybody occupied. And here's this. <laughs> what are you opening up? Need help? Yeah. Okay, so as she does that, we're gonna spray our muffin pan. Do it pretty good, because if you don't spray it, they're probably not gonna come out. So give each cup a light spray with your cooking oil. All right. Now we're gonna take each one of these biscuits and you're gonna fan it out with your fingers as best you can. Good whack, there you go. She learned from her mom, gotta whack it right across the counter. And then you're gonna lightly press it in there up along the edges. So you kinda have a little well, so when we put in the mixture, it nestles in there really good. Our biscuits are ready to go, all in our, in our muffin pan. And what you want to do is make them kind of look like a little pie shell. So there's a nice well, because we're going to fill it now. So, Kenzie, what did we forget to put in our mix? We forgot to put in our mixed vegetables because I left them in the freezer for the last minute so they didn't unthaw. So we are going to put in a half a bag of mixed veggies. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. Now. I can open this with my greasy hands after doing the biscuits. All right. Okay, ready? We're going to dump half this in here, Tens. I need to. Okay, only half the bag. Keep going. Uh, yes. Okay. That's probably good. All right. Get our veggies mixed in here. If you don't have mixed veggies in your freezer, you want to just use corn, just carrots, just green beans. Go for it. You can use whatever your favorite vegetable is. You want about like a cup of mixed veggies if you like veggies and put more in, whatever you want to do. You can probably get even make this vegetarian. Hey, contrary, I'm talking on your <laughs> You can make this definitely vegetarian. Um, just put just veggies in inside the chicken, or if you don't like veggies, then just do the chicken. Do what works for you and your family. All right, come on up here, Sue Chef. We're going to fill them up. I'm doing it. Okay, so next step is going to be to fill these. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get one fourth cup. Can I do it? Scoop it in there like that. Yep, you can do the next one, okay? And we're going to fill each pie, or each muffin pit, each muffin tin with one fourth cup of filling. All right, you do the next one. Put it in here. So what I did is I made 12, but I did make a little extra so I can bake these to show you guys. So that way we don't have to bake these right this second since it's not dinner time. Because I want to show you what these look like when they're baked. What? <laughs> Is it good? All right, you're gonna have to go wash your hands now because we can't lick our fingers when we're cooking, okay? We washed our hands before we started, didn't we? All right. Okay, so this time, I... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So this time, I'm just gonna fill these while my little sous chef washes her hands. So our muffins are ready to go. My sous chef um, washed her hands, took a cookie, and then ran off with my producer. So now it's just me again. But we're ready to go. We have our chicken pot pie muffins ready to throw in the oven, 375 degrees for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. Our chicken pot pie muffins are ready to eat. My sous chef is playing in the sink. She enjoys doing that, I don't know why. So she's doing her thing. I'm gonna taste test these and show you what they look like when they come out. They should come out pretty easy with a fork. Let them sit in here like probably five minutes to cool. And then you have adorable little muffin cups that have chicken pot pie inside. And they are so good and they're so simple. Let me give it a try. Here comes my dog Bear saying hello. I don't know if you got to see him on the camera or not, but all right, get a carrot in there and some of that filling. 
house smells really good right now too. Mmm. These, I can't even tell you how good these are, and the flavor in them are amazing. The chicken seasoning I use is the Dollar General seasoning that I told you about before. I can taste that. I can taste the chicken soup, the vegetables. It pulls together so good. And those biscuits, they're Wegmans bread. They're really good too. This recipe is on my website. We'll post the link. Stick around for tips and tricks um, during quarantine on how to make your food last longer. And we hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Say bye, Kens!